Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and it is Wednesday. You know what that means. It is Women Only Wednesday, where we feature at least one female-only matchup comparison. Heather Foster takes on Paula Suzuki. Now these two ladies, mass monsters, just incredible, incredible biceps. Look at Heather Foster's bicep peaks. I would say arm for arm individually, she may even get an edge because of those biceps, man. But Suzuki, Paula Suzuki is just incredible, guys. That V taper reminds me of uh, Edward Kowak, just full of muscle, just incredible. But like I said, arm for arm and even leg for leg here, Heather Foster is incredible. Go to, now, this is an actual on stage of these two. They competed together, several different events, I'm sure. But this one here, I believe they placed side by side. They placed sixth and seventh or, or fifth and sixth. I can't remember exactly, but it was, they didn't win. They weren't, they weren't going for the win, but you know, they were, they're on the same level playing field, I think, as far as the judges were concerned. Again, guys. Wheels, arms, Heather Foster, just incredible guys. Look at this physique. But when you talk about physique, the waist to lat ratio, and hey, those arms and legs are not too bad at all. Paula Suzuki, wow, wow. Two incredible, incredible bodybuilders, female bodybuilders. Turn to the side. Heather Foster exhibits an incredible set of arms here with the delts course i like suzuki paula suzuki the way she is displayed the way she is displayed maybe a better midsection i don't know it's fairly close as far as that's concerned but i think you take that dramatic v taper out of the equation and i think it is a heather foster game i think she's just bigger more powerful as far as the arms are concerned and traps look at the traps on this lady wait till you see some of the back shots just incredible, I'm telling you guys. If you don't follow female bodybuilding, huh, take a look at these ladies. Next side shot. Again, take that width of the lats and the, the small waistline of Paula Suzuki out of this equation. And I think it's a, a Heather Foster matchup. Heather Foster's arm looks exactly like Brandon Curry's. The tricep, exactly. I'm telling you, it's a lowerly, or a, a lowerly, much lower inserted tricep than that of Paula Suzuki, although Paula is obviously training that tricep, perfect, strations, size, look at the delts on the both of these ladies, incredible, anyway guys, might give an edge to Paula Suzuki in the front double, but I have to say both side are going to... Uh, Heather Foster, turn around for the rear lat, and you may have noticed we didn't have a front lat, which probably would have went to Paula Suzuki. Little unfair. The rear lat's going to Paula Suzuki. I think she has better condition. Glute for glute. I think she has a better back. Look at those lats. That is in unbelievable. I think that's too many times that I've said incredible. Just uh, caught off guard by both of these ladies, and they never really... They never even entered the Olympia. As far as uh, Paula Suzuki, I think maybe maybe um, Heather Foster, I think she entered the Olympia, the Miss Olympia, maybe a couple of times, but neither of them really up there. I don't know. I don't understand it. Maybe they didn't quite nail their conditioning as, as good as the top ladies. I don't know. Structurally speaking, these two ladies, just as muscular or more muscular than any, any women. Bev Francis was pretty jacked for her time. Rear double bicep. Look at the lat insertions on this Paula Suzuki. Taking nothing away from Heather Foster. Heather Foster's the traps on this woman. Like I said, wait till you see some of the back shots. Look at the traps on her. They're mountainous. Mountains from the top. Unreal, unreal. <laughs> Gotta ask some of these ladies how they're training traps. In particular, Foster. Wow, guys. But I think at the end of the day, the V taper and probably the conditioning would give uh, Paula Suzuki an edge. Now, here is the on stage 
And you can really see Paula, she's she's a lot shorter than Heather, but she is much thicker, much more built, I think, for open class bodybuilding as far as the women, females are concerned. This time those traps look pretty pronounced for Suzuki, Paula Suzuki, but Heather's traps are so thick and mountainous. Look at the arms on Heather as well. With all due respect to Heather, I mean, she's fantastic, but Paula Suzuki, I think, she's taking this one. Finish this one off. Unfortunately, we have uh, both on stage with each other. So there's no there's no arguments as far as lighting, the, the angle of the shot, which can really make a difference. Really make a difference. They should have a set angle for bodybuilding. You know what I mean? All of the, the events. Anyway, guys, they should do that with the lighting as well. But I don't need to get on that. Tominator made a great big video about that. It's a very interesting topic. Should get that video out, actually. Too bad that didn't go viral. The V taper here is just too much. And you look at the quad muscle separation, and I think it's a no brainer here. Paula Suzuki is your winner of this competition. I think her V taper and plus conditioning was just too much for maybe the more muscle bound Heather Foster as far as the wheels, certain shots, as far as the arms, certain shots as well, delts, biceps, triceps. Incredible, but both of these ladies were beasts, beasts among women. Anyway, guys, that was your Women Only Wednesday. Get your requests in. Has to be a woman only comparison, guys. <laughs> I see Chris Bumstead versus women. I see Greg Doucette versus other women. I've seen that. I've seen that. He wouldn't be very pleased about that. <laughs> he lay off Chris Doucette. <laughs> he could get all of his people to attack me. Like he did to poor uh, Phil Viz. Poor Phil Viz. He outed Phil Viz. I don't want him to do that to me. Anyway, guys, have a great week.